my how-to Pam here. Today what I'm doing is uh, I'm repairing a tool. <laughs> I'm all about fixing tools. So I have two broken tools here. This one used to be a hoe. Yes, my hoe is broken, so I gotta fix it. And uh, this here handle is cracked on my little shovel. So with two broken tools, I'm gonna make one good one. So I have to get this part off. I'm probably gonna cut this off because as you can see it's long enough and uh, I'll use my Dremel and I'll cut the little rivet off of this and uh, be able to make a new tool. So uh, I'll let you see how that turns out. I got the head cut off using my Dremel and now I'm going to use this nail and put it there and then hammer it in to push this through the other side. So hopefully that will work. Yeehaw. Okay, so guess what? Ta -da! It worked. I got it off. It was a little bit of a challenge though, I kid you not. And uh, now I have to cut the, hand, the broken part of the hole off and I'm going to saw this puppy off because it's a lot longer, the handle's a lot longer. So, and as you notice, I have my safety gear on. A good girl today. Now as you can see, this is pretty tapered and I want it to fit, I want this, my new pole, to fit in the shovel properly. So I've got my uh, sander out and I'm going to try and taper it. And as you can see I've been starting to do it a little bit, but i got a little ways to go yet. So, wish me luck. <laughs> That's pretty good if I do say so myself. But now I'm going to have to drill a hole so I'll be able to put a rivet through there. And I'll be able to show you my finished product. So I put my bit in my Dremel. I love my Dremel. And I'm going to proceed in a drill through. And I pray that I get it straight. Okay, I made it through. As you can see, I have my screw in there, but it's too long. So I'm going to cut it off and then just enough where I can put two nuts on there. Tighten my nuts on there. And I should have a brand new shovel just for the job I need. Awesome! Not so awesome. As you can see, ta-da! Voila! It's fixed. Look at that. I put a little bit of uh, tape on here in case I end up, you know, so it doesn't cut my hand yes I know I should be wearing gloves anyways but so it doesn't rip my gloves or whatever so as you can see pretty good job eh thank you well it's an idea on saving money and I'm all about saving money where I can so now I have a good tool thanks for watching and come visit some of my other videos have a good day